Hello and welcome to this episode of the series Sharing the Eternal Word Stew with Father Silvanus Ame. And in this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you something very exciting, something very important, something of great significance and consequence, especially for families, for parents, and also for children. And the topic that we'll be looking at in this episode is the danger of child comparison the danger of child comparison and we shall be guided by the text of ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 and there the bible says parents do not treat your children in such a way as to make them angry instead bring them up with christian discipline and instruction i will take that again and it's important that we pay heed to what the bible is saying to us here ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 parents do not treat your children in such a way as to make them angry instead bring them up with christian discipline and instruction so the danger of child comparison this is something that we see happen a lot of times in homes are coming from parents in some instances in schools coming from teachers and other significant others in the lives of children when they compare them with other children compare them with their peers probably because of one thing they didn't do well or another or some areas in which they have shortcomings and you hear parents say can't you be like your brother can't you act like your sister are you not seeing how this person is doing what about that your friend can you not look at that your friend and learn from him these are things we are referring to as child comparison so while it is sometimes okay to use the example of other children to motivate some others and encourage them to strive towards um, greater height towards perfection to strive to do better it is not okay to always compare children with their peers with their siblings with other um, children around them with their friends in doing this you do a lot of harm to the child so in this episode of still sharing the eternal word i'm going to be sharing with you some of the dangers involved in comparing your children always with other children especially children of their um, age bracket and uh, I'll, I'll share a few of such dangers with us but let us keep in mind that this is not an exhaustive list so here are six dangers of um, always comparing six resultant effects of always comparing your child or children with other children it could be their siblings, it could be their friends, it could be their neighbors, their schoolmates. Number one is that in doing so, you destroy their self-esteem and confidence. You destroy their self-esteem and confidence. Always, always, always comparing your child for your children with other children does not make them feel like they are good enough. It doesn't make them feel like they are capable of doing anything. It makes them lack confidence in themselves and in their abilities. So they are not too sure anymore of what they are able to do because always you will refer what they have done in, in, in comparison with what other children are doing. So in doing this, gradually, gradually they begin to lose confidence in themselves. Their self-esteem is their self-esteem is, is destroyed. And so they are unable to do anything with confidence. They are unable to be bold enough. To do even those things that ordinarily they would be able to do very well because they're not sure how you are going to take it they're not sure how you are going to react they're not sure whether you are going to acknowledge their efforts or you are still going to compare them with other children and as you do so you gradually destroy this very important aspect of their life this very important element of their life which is self-esteem and self confidence please do not compare your children with others because of this effect that it has on them number two is that in doing so in always comparing your children with others you are failing to recognize their individual gifts not all children are the same every child is specially gifted 
every child has special blessings from God. And you will not expect that what one child is able to do, another child must be able to do the same. No. Where one child has a strength, another may have a weakness. Where your child has a weakness, may be where others have strengths. And where your child or children have strengths, may be where others have weaknesses. Recognize their individual gifts and encourage them where they have such gifts, such, such strengths. But where they have weaknesses, what you need to do, rather than always compare them with other children, is to realize and recognize that here they are not doing so well, they are not doing so, they, are, they don't have so much strength. And try to see them build on those weaknesses. That is what you need to do. Because a child, for example, may not be good in academics, but the child may be good in sports. A child may not be good in science, but the child may be good in arts. A child may not be good in mathematics, but the child may be good in singing. So, they have individual strengths and you must recognize such strengths and encourage them where they exist. And where you find weaknesses, help the child to overcome that weakness, to build on it, to develop themselves in those areas. The third danger I'm going to share with you is that always comparing your, comparing your children with others can lead them into depression. Just as I shared in the first uh, danger, that it kills self-esteem and self-confidence. Always comparing your children can lead to depression. How so? Every time you say negative things to a child, you wound them on the inside. And that wound will continue to grow bigger and bigger. So much so that they have deep-seated sadness, deep-seated dissatisfaction with themselves. They have deep-seated dislike, sometimes even for themselves, such that they do not see the reason why they should, they should find joy in life anymore. They don't see any reason to be happy. Why? Because their parents who should contribute to their happiness or the significant figures in their lives that should contribute to their happiness will always make them sad, always make them angry because of comparing them with, or by, rather by comparing them with other children. The text of scripture that we read, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4, says there that we should treat children in such a way as not to make them angry. An angry child is not a happy child. And is a child who is not happy is sad. A child who is sad is on the road to depression if that sadness persists. So gradually you can be pushing your child into depression by always comparing him or her with others or comparing them with other children. And number four is that by comparing your children with others, you are creating room for sibling or friends rivalry and resentment because every child you point to that you use to speak down on your child that child begins to see the other child as a rival so if you're always talking down on one of your children or your child and always comparing them with others they begin to see those other children as rivals and that can breed resentment even between siblings it can bring resent breed resentment between friends it can breed resentment between schoolmates between classmates between neighbors because your child sees the other child no longer as a collaborator your child sees the other child no longer as a companion no longer as someone that they should grow together but your child begins to see that child as a rival because if that rivalry is not there, if that rival, sorry, is not there, then there will be no basis for comparison anymore. So they may begin to look for ways to eliminate that rivalry, to eliminate that child that they see as a rival. And some children can take this to great lengths, to the point of doing harm to other children. Innocent children may not even know what is going on. Please avoid this mistake by all costs, because when you create room for rivalry between siblings, between friends, between schoolmates, between classmates. We are posing danger to the other child because the child that you are talking down on, who is seeing the other child as a threat, the one you are using to compare him or her, they can go to certain lengths sometimes to eliminate the other child. And it could be that such a move can end in the death of another child. That's one of the dangers also of 
um, child comparison. And the fifth I'm going to share with you is that comparison is a demotivator and a suppressor of talent. It's a demotivator and a suppressor of talent. Just as we shared in the first, as I shared in the first um, danger about self-confidence and about self-esteem, when you always compare a child with another, when you always compare your children with others, you are demotivating them. You don't encourage them to be at their best. You don't encourage them to bring out the best that is in them. You're not encouraging them to make efforts. So even the talents that they have, even the abilities that they have, they will suppress them. They will no longer make efforts because nothing that they do is good enough for you. You always find a reason to say to them that they are not doing well, they are not measuring up. So the talents that they have, they will just bury them. They will suppress them. They are not motivated to do anything. They are not motivated to push for success. They are not motivated to aim for higher heights. Why? Because every time that they make effort, you talk them down by referring them to other children to see how those ones did what they are doing. And each time you do that, you are killing in them the motivation to push forward you are killing in them the motivation to aim higher you are killing in them the motivation to be better please do not do this to any child do not do this to any child do not demotivate them do not make them suppress their talents and the final uh, point i'm going to share with you the sixth is that uh Comparing children can make you raise a child or children who secretly hate you, it detests you. And this is tied to all that we have said. You will be raising a child or raising children who hate you. Why? Because of everything that we have said here that you have destroyed their self-confidence, you have de destroyed their self-esteem, you have not recognized their efforts and their gifts, you have pushed them into a state of depression, you have created rivalry between themselves and other children, you have demotivated them and made them suppress their talents. So they see you no longer as a friend, but as someone to be detested. They see you even if you are their parent, even if you are their parent. Some can secretly hate you, they detest you in their heart and anyhow that they can find any way they can find to get away from you they will do it if it means also even eliminating you some children can go to that length yes some children can go to that length because they hate you they don't want to see you and sometimes when they grow up like that you have treated them in such a manner and they grow up with it when they become independent of you they will try by all means possible to cut off every kind of connection with you because every time they're in contact with you, you are damaging something in them. So they don't want to have anything to do with you. They hate you. They detest you. They will despise you. They will reject you. And some will even come out plainly and tell you how they feel about you. This is not a kind of relationship that should exist between parents and children, between teachers and children, between uh, uncles and nephews or nieces, you know. So those significant figures in the lives of any child can be in this position where they always compare the child with others and they can be the um, object of hatred in those children. So as I share this with you today and in this episode of uh sharing the eternal words to you please take this message to heart do not compare your child or your children with others do not always 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 compare your children with others be they their siblings or their friends or their schoolmates or your neighbors please this is not something that you should do there are times like i said from the beginning where you can set other children as examples to be emulated but that does not mean that it is something that you have to do all the time all the time and if you are even going to use another child to um show to your own child as as a, a model to be emulated 
then let it be that as you are pointing to this child, you are encouraging your child to do better, acknowledging first that they have made effort, but letting them know that if they put in more effort, they can be better than they presently are. They can achieve higher results than they presently have achieved. Okay, so this one is not a case where we are talking down on them, but we are using other children to motivate them, to challenge them, to encourage them, to let them know that they too are able, they too are capable if they put in a little more effort. So um, I'm going to wrap up here at this point and i hope that you will take this message to heart and put it into practice in your life remember the bible says as we read ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 do not treat your children in such a way to make them angry instead bring them up with christian discipline and instruction so you must do this with love you must instruct them you must discipline them in such a manner that you are helping them to grow not in such a manner that you are destroying them thank you very much for following on this uh, episode of the series sharing the eternal word i hope that you've learned something please share this video with others especially with parents share with even future parents share this video widely with all your friends your contacts and do not forget to follow me on my social media um, platforms as you see the handles displayed on your screen this moment thank you very much and until the next episode when i bring you something again very interesting please stay blessed and may the almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen peace be with you to the word of god i'll cling to you the word of god when satan whispers lies god's truth will make me wise